Generation X playing passive in this tournament, but we are ready for the picks and bans. So let's see what uh, Frame Perfect can pull out here to try to get a different result uh, than la, la, they had last point. time. Oh. Wow, really? so you did your little drum roll. Yeah, and it was total fail. And they still are more afraid of uh, Status Bake's Rona. Rona. <laughs> and we have an Arden <laughs> coming out of Liberation X. So what Frame Perfect is going to do here, I hope, is secure a Fortress pick. They don't even have to invade. I, they just hold on. I'm going to cut you off. So th you've been a broken record about the fortress yeah, all day. I, I, I got to so. ask, what is it about fortress in update 111 or even 110 that makes you so high on the fortress in the in these competitive situations? Fortress right now pretty much gives you a 75% chance of owning the jungle from level one to six. 75% Seve chance. 75%. Probably more. That's the technical number out yeah. of Rome. I was actually going to predict this Kashka, although Kashka? this is now hindsight. But um, yeah, pretty much I, th I think Kashka has been more powerful than the Fortress. So now I Liberation X is going to be picking Fortress <laughs> and possibly Glaive. Glaive. <laughs> Jinx, you have me a son. We'll yeah. see if it plays out. Oh, nope. wrong. Good. It's that there. time of day again. It's better. I want Hafu to be there right. There you and go. Rome to be wrong. The fortress Big does the fortress. come off the board. Uh, I'm not sure if we've seen a Celeste fortress uh, today. Obviously, Celeste is going to be in lane, so it's a little bit more about what the other jungler is. And uh, Frame Perfect staring into the face Ringo. of that. And with half. early game and Ringo and all around, Glaive. just all over the meta right now, the Adagio in 111, certainly in vogue, rising right to the top as both a roamer and a crystal carry. The Glaive comes off more of the same today? Um, what we're going to see in this match from my expectations of status baked is that he's going to push over into their jungle. He's going to make the run back. Then he's going to proceed to go up to lane after burn Ringo and pretty much leave a whole open lane wide open for Celeste. All right, so good, I like this. So everyone write down those steps, <laughs> put those steps yeah. in the Twitch chat. Let's see if uh, Rome can nail the whole opening in that of predict this game. In that Right in, that, right in that order, pretty much. All right, we'll see if it happens in that order, Hapu. Any uh, clothing, 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 closing thoughts here <laughs> uh, before we get into this action? I mean, I just feel like it'll be kind of hard for Frame Perfect to lock people down. Aside from the Kashka alt and the Adagio alt, it's going to be really hard to keep them in place. Um, so we'll have to see how they can get a like secure kills, especially early, against um, a Glaive and a Fortress. You know, they're pretty slippery. Okay. I am hoping that Action Jackson is going to be saying Corpus, 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 and not talking about uh, Vainglory April Fools in this match. If he is saying Corpus, it bodes well for Frame Perfect. Let's go now to Action Jackson and Vettius for match two. Welcome back, guys, to the caster desk for what could be our last game of the day. If Liberation X does take this one, very convincing victory out of them last time. Do you think these compositions are better suited towards Frame Perfect taking away the win? And it could very well be, but simply because they didn't pick the Fortress, I think that <laughs> no, I'm just messing the. Because Rome is such a fan, I have to throw a Fortress in there from time to time, but I really think that it will be a big factor coming into this game. There is a bit of uh, difference of opinion between the teams as to what's actually more valuable, the Fortress or the Koshka. So this could be a great game to find out what is actually the more valuable coming into this. You know what I think super valuable? Giving status baked Glaive. Yes. And I, it does surprise me a little bit that he keeps getting it. You know, he is a jungle player who's migrated up towards that lane, right? And he hasn't shown any traditional, super traditional lane heroes. We are going to be jumping onto the fold, though, guys. For what, as I said, could be our final game. And they've mixed things up, actually. So you talk about status bait moving up to the lane. He's actually moving into the jungle. Exhale's going to be in the lane. Ah. And this was something that Rome talked about pre-game, is Exhale is kind of that mage laner. If he was going to be playing in the lane, that he would be bringing out a mage like the Celeste, like the Scarf. And seeing as that Celeste was available, he decided to pick that up. And he's going to be going up against Alex's Ringo. So we are going to see a little bit of variation coming out from Liberation X. And speaking of variation, they're going for a gang of Alex. Wow, look at that afterburn right off the bat. 
out of here. Alex immediately goes down one minute into the game. Exactly the first kill goes over to Liberation X. Fantastic start for Liberation X. Getting that advantage onto Status Baked is exactly the way that they want to go. This guy was playing out of his mind last game and getting the goal onto him, getting as many advantages as possible is a great way for Liberation X to kick things off. So... This is what we're looking for. This is what we expect from Liberation X. Let's see if they can keep this going throughout the game. Well, they certainly showed they could last time around. And I would argue that Status Fake being originally from the jungle, uh, you know, having the Glaive on this, uh, in this position is likely to be even better than last game for Liberation X. Yeah, he is a very talented jungler, one of the highest ranked players on North America, and he has been doing a fantastic job. You can see why he is regarded as one of the most talented glaives in North America, because, well, these guys are the top teams in North America, and this is only seed fourth and fifth. It brings into question, like, how closely related all these teams are in terms of skill level, and I'm really impressed with what I've seen so far. Right now, though, they want to go on to Exhale, try and shut him down during the laning phase. Yeah, but they're not quite able to pull it off just yet. They don't have uh, th the few more levels I think they need to really just burst him down. So he is going to be safe for now. You can see Status Baked actually moving up here to support him as well. One thing Hafu actually mentioned just before we jumped into game was the lack of ability for Taz Frame Perfect to lock down a single target. Yes, they do have the ultimate available from Corpus as well as LTL. If the target is burned, then you can land that Verse of Judgment to stun them up as well. But those things are very easy to reflex block. You can get the Crucible and it's very easy to get out of those very tricky situations. So it's quite difficult for Frame Perfect to actually lock this Celeste down considering how much support that XL has available to him. So I wonder how they're going to play around this coming into these next few team fights as the game progresses. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see at the moment though. This game has slowed down a lot off the back of that first kill. No one's going too crazy trying to pick up early kills here. We're seeing a bit of an invade coming out of Corpus and LTL, but they don't find a great deal off the back of it. Just two small jungle creeps. And Marto and Status Baked are here now to try and dissuade them from going for more. Corpus has got the backup of Alex this time round, though, and we could see a big fight breaking out here. They want to get onto Status Bake, but a great afterburn knockback is going to keep him out of here for now. Corpus maybe even diving a little bit too deeply. They need to be careful about biting off more than they can chew. And that was a little bit risky for the side of Liberation X. They went for a bit of an engagement that they weren't in a position to really contest. And the biggest thing that I noticed was XL hadn't actually had an opportunity to go back and buy, which is a large reason as to why Liberation X did not want to go for that fight. Notice how XL shoved the top lane in, wanted to get the minion wave under uh, Task for Imperfect's turret, and then she decided to go back, get those items, and then that would be a point that they could look to set up for another engagement. Until then, they should be avoiding things. It looks like Exhale. Corpus wants to put some pressure down. Look at the massive damage coming out of Corpus and Alex. They've certainly got the ability to really put pressure onto Liberation X at the moment, but not quite enough still to just pick up that kill right off the back. Maybe if LTL was there. Marto right now, though, is going to be cut out. One versus three. No chance of escaping there. Frame perfect. Getting themselves a return kill. Yeah, nice collapse coming out from the side of Task Frame Perfect. Fortress doing the early game is rather strong, but also quite squishy, so you can capitalize on that oh, if they're out of position. Big. And speaking about a position... Oh, he was trying to go into the enemy jungle and find some kind of money right now, but because he walked over the scout trap, it's an easy pickup for Frame Perfect. They're actually leading in kills right now. They certainly are, and Task Frame Perfect doing a good job in this early game. LTL did a great job of flanking around, trying to cut off the escape route the status bait had available to him and with both Alex and Corpus hanging around it was very easy to lock down the positioning of status bait and eliminate him from the map so right now task frame perfect while the early game was looking pretty good for Liberation X after they got that first blood it didn't affect task frame perfect and they've done a fantastic job of working their way back in yeah, that is very true, and we mentioned it before. This is the game you'd expect to go to three. It is the closest seed matchup. 
Arto right now needs to be careful here in the jungle. You'd think that they'd learn after a while not to mess with the side of Frame Perfect without help from Exhale, who is rotating down. That is going to be the first kill going over against Marto. But Status Bakes is doing a lot of damage off on the backside. They're turning this one around, finding two kills onto Frame Perfect. LTL as well, miles away from home. No easy way to get out of this one, and I think Exhale should likely be able to find himself a quick kill here. Very nicely played by Liberation X. That was fantastic. Uh, that was a fantastic solar storm coming out from XL. The problem for Task Frame Perfect was they invested a lot of resources onto Fortress, which isn't really the target that you want to be bringing down because that meant that Status Baked and XL could just do so much damage from the back line. We talked about how XL needs to be the target that you shut down, and if you ignore her, she's going to clean up on the back. Right now, though, Status Baked. Yeah, he's in a bad spot. Chased all the way from the enemy jungle. He ran over two or three scout traps for that entire escape route, and it just gave perfect vision to frame perfect, letting them know where he was going. Corpus finding himself that kill, obviously going to be a big boon for them. Marto, what is he doing so far out of position yet again? Another kill for Corpus. Frame Perfect are either playing on a different level from last game or Liberation X are just not performing up to that same, same standard. I'm not entirely sure what they're doing right now because the only thing I can think of is that Marta wanted to try and get a steal onto the gold mine and he does it. Oh, status big coming in. Waiting in the wings for that one. Is able to find a great steal and get away with his life. Amazing play coming out of them, keeping them in a position where they're not losing out too much off the back of these fights. What a beautiful steal coming out from Status Bait. This guy is so talented. Playoff Beard was saying, Corpus needs to be the guy that you were talking about throughout this game, but how can we ignore Status Bait performance? He is playing out of his mind. Phenomenal player, doing a great job of keeping his team alive, even throughout the constant mispositioning that we are seeing from Mato. Yeah, and the thing is, though, Marco definitely needs to tighten up his his uh, positioning and where he's going this game. Exhale. We are seeing Exhale get jumped on in the top side, but Status Bakes actually here to knock Corpus into the turret. They find a kill. Beautiful return there from Liberation X. Can they get more? LTL is taking a lot of damage. Exhale's poke with his Helio Genocide are doing a lot of work at the moment. This is a good opportunity for Livex to finally get some pressure into the enemy jungle, but there's no creeps here. Monto has decided to go on oh, to afterburn. LTL. <laughs> LTL should not have chased that much. I guess he figured that he could just harass them a little bit, but the engagement range of a glaive is massive. You have to respect it. And the movement speed that you get from being with a fortress is something oh, Marto. Things aren't over yet, though. Yeah, he is going to go down to Alex. Finally, a return kill being picked up in this exchange from Frame Perfect. It's going to be hard for them to get too much more, though. Alex channeling that ultimate just to get harassment onto Exhale. Alex actually oh. gets knocked into the turret. He was baiting in. Exhale finds it. Is he going to go down to that damage over time? Not quite. He survives. Brilliant play by LiveX. Status fake with these afterburners, man. He could maybe teach a thing or two to Alex because he did not afterburn him there. Time after time after time, he is getting that afterburn under his own turret. I mean... Why do you keep falling for it? It's literally like <laughs> the most telegraphed play. He's done it so many times now. It should be obvious what he's trying to do. And this guy is pretty much the star of Liberation X. He's been playing so phenomenally well. We keep talking about him because of how well he really has been playing. But it looks like he could be in some trouble right now as he just swags out of the enemy jungle. Yeah, and they might actually try and turn this one around onto frame perfect. And exhale being so close. Big scout trap going down. Though you can see already a bit of a health disparity between these two teams. LTL needs to be careful not to get engaged onto Corpus. Jumps onto the back line though. Exhale immediately takes quite low, has to burn some potions. No damage so far really going on top of frame. Perfect, but they've split up in a very dicey way. And Livex does find the first kill. They want more Corpus. Gonna jump onto Status Bank. He finds it. This could be a huge fight for frame. Perfect. They're gonna get the ace coming in at 10 minutes. Well played by frame. Perfect to actually pull that fight out. So Taz frame. Perfect actually executed that very well. What looked bad because they'd split up resulted in Liberation X 
poor focus. They could not decide on who they wanted to shut down. They decide to go onto LTL, which is once again not the target that you want to be investing your resources onto. Corpus playing this Koshka still does a lot of damage that you have to respect, and they did not do that. He waited a little while. He was dashing around the fight. He got his cooldowns back up, and once he re-engaged with the support from Alex, it was very easy for them to swing the fight in their favor. They also get a turret off the back of that, and Taz Frame Perfect really want to show that they can bring this to a game three. They're, they're within reach of doing that right now, but they have to be careful not to just bite off more than they can chew, keep putting pressure on uh, at times which aren't appropriate. At the moment, Liberation X, looking to take away this gold mine. Not a huge amount of money built up on it, so I'm sure Frame Perfect don't mind giving that one away. And to be honest, Liberation X are in a bit of a tough spot right now. They need to find a good opportunity to go for an engagement. They can't let a fight happen like the previous one again. And oh man, that was actually a very nice initiation by Alex, but the rest of his team disappeared. Where did they go? Corpus gonna be collapsed on by Marto. That fight has gone horribly wrong for Frame Perfect. It started off so well with a great burst of damage onto Exhale, but there was no cohesion in their play. So much credit oh, to Morto, but it's not done yet. It's not done yet at all. Now it's done. Ace coming in for Liberation X. These teams trading aces back and forth. That was fantastic play from Marto. Maybe he didn't quite catch it because the Fountain of Renewal managed to keep Exhale alive just long enough to get the full combo down. The Solar Storm, the Heliogenesis, the Core Collapse, getting it all down onto Alex and Corpus and ITL, LTL, sorry, was just so massive in that team fight that they were able to turn things around. Liberation X, fantastic play. We hurt we hyped on about Marto being a little bit out of position during the early game, but he made up for it fantastically right there. That Fountain of Renewal was on point. It really, really was. And now that some of these key items are being completed like that Fountain of Renewal, Liberation X do seem to be finding the fights that they wanted. I, I worry a bit about the communication breakdown maybe that's happening at Frame Perfect, though, because they just decided to abandon uh, Alex after he went for that engagement and they didn't decide to play through it as a team, which is a tough spot to be in. You've got to follow these calls if they're made right now. But Status Faked actually going in head first, a bit ahead of his team, doesn't get a good afterburner off, but Corpus is miles out of position. He finds a Yummy Cat in Frenzy, but it's not enough. Now Alex alone basically against his team. LTL can do nothing to help him. That is going to be two quick pickups for Liberation X. They're starting to snowball out of control, just like last game, Vedius. Status baked with the afterburn once again. Wasn't quite as ideal as you would like it. And it looked like another engage oh, is kicking off. Yeah, great afterburn this time around. Coming in from status baked. I'm not quite sure. They did get the ace just before Corpus respawned. So they're going to be able to get all that health back, keep pressuring around the map. It's one and a half minutes until that Kraken spawns. At this rate, though, I don't know if Libex even needs it. They probably don't. They've been able to get to this point uh, in the last game where they're already breaking Frame Perfect's base before we reach 15 minutes into the game. They know how to use a lead simply due to their natural tendency to play aggressive. This is what Liberation X is known for within North America. They're all about being aggressive, all about running into the enemy team whenever they see an opportunity. And Status Baked has really been facilitating that aggression. He has been playing out of his mind on this glaive, but the fantastic follow-up and support from Marto and XL has just been wonderful. It really has. Marto is looking to make another engagement here, coming through onto LTL, but Corpus gets knocked back. The Verse of Judgment flies, but does absolutely nothing. Solar Storm across the team, massive damage, an easy ace coming in for Liberation X this time. It gets easier and easier every single fight. At this rate, T-Tigers might actually have a hope of joining up with the team on day three. <laughs> they certainly do, Liberation X. They've just been playing perfectly. Very impressive performance. I keep saying it time and time again because the story of this game has been all about XL staying alive in these fights, always on the back line, always getting a huge amount of damage down onto the entire lineup of Task Frame Perfect. And because of that, they've easily been able to swing the fights in their favor with Morto providing so much fantastic support on the back line. Yes, Status Baked has been playing phenomenally, but you cannot discredit the impact that XL and Morto have had on this game. 
I also feel like Frame Perfect needs to be careful about the calls that they are making. In a position like they were just there, they don't really even need to leave their base because there's no objectives for Liberation X to take. When they just extend themselves like that, you're putting yourself out there to be collapsed upon, and they were. Now that they're so far behind, they can't even try and extend out of their base to deal with the Kraken. It's just fallen apart for them. Moving into the jungle right now, I mean, where are they going? What are they trying to achieve? Well, they're trying to stall, but because of the fantastic wave clear and poke that XL oh, has on this base. Celeste, and after picking up the Kraken, I don't think that they're going to be able to stall for very much longer. Yeah, it's going to be a tough shout for them to pull it off. Corpus actually taking a bit of poke here. Exhale does get ultimated, but a good reflex block keeps him relatively healthy. There's the afterburner onto Alex immediately. He is going to go down. LTL actually taking a ton of damage on the side as well. Just ambient damage. Corpus, he is trying desperately to clear out the minion wave, stop this push that's coming in, but there's just nothing, no way that he can do it. This is going to be Liberation X taking the fourth and final series of the day 2-0 very well played by them what a crazy series liberation x initially looks like that they could potentially lose this game very impressive plays coming out from task frame perfect they were making their composition work but it just got to a point where liberation x just executed things perfectly Morto and Exhale played out of their minds. Status Baked, you have to give this guy credit for his fantastic Glaive because he was truly phenomenal. You cannot give this guy Glaive, but then what else?